Golden Arrow Dual Camera Harness Review. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be looking at a harness, a camera harness. If you don't know what that is, it allows you to stick a camera to like a belt harness on your body so you can shoot, you can drop the camera, then you can have a secondary camera. Right now I'm filming with the R5, R5 would be on here, but uh, we have little Fuji X100V on here taking its place. But uh, yeah, is a harness worth it? Does it make you a better photographer? Who knows, those aren't questions for this video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at this harness in specific. It is by a company called Golden Arrow. Got my logo on the back there. So we're just going to uh, do a little unboxing. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts. We're gonna talk about uh, the materials used and all that kind of stuff. Is this harness worth buying? Uh, for me personally, I shoot weddings and events, so a harness makes it really handy. So rather than having to switch cameras at the event or switch lenses in a dusty wedding hall, I can have one camera with one lens, another camera with another lens, and then I can just dual wield and just get the shots and be able to be mobile instead of having to run back to my camera bag to switch lenses all the time. But of course, if you have a harness, you need two cameras, otherwise it defeats the purpose. All right, so let's talk about this harness and see if it's any good. All right, so let's talk about build quality and I'll talk about a few things that jumped out at me. Now, first impressions, the, the strap feels very solid or the harness feels very solid in the hands. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. If you've never used a harness before, think of it as kind of like two belts that go around each shoulder. And then you have this belt, uh, I guess, buckle here. And you can adjust the size of the belt buckle to uh, either have the camera sitting lower or higher, or you can have the harness strapped tighter around your chest if you want, so you can adjust it. Now, the one thing I noticed with this harness that I really like is that it's black on the outside, but the inside is like a, a natural tan. It's undyed, untreated, and I think that's pretty cool. I've heard a lot of horror stories from people who have harnesses that are dyed a, a certain color, and then, of course, as you're shooting a wedding, you're wearing your shirt, you're sweating, and that dye seems to leak through into your clothing, which is, Never a good look. <laughs> so that's one thing I'm happy about with this strap. Uh, the other thing too that's nice is you have your main clips and all these metal bits are made out of uh, magnesium alloy. So it's a nice uh, sturdy metal there. And then each one of these main clips has uh, a secondary clip which you can plug or you can connect directly to your camera. It comes with this little ring that you can put through your strap hole and uh, it's just the backup just in case something happens. And uh, the one thing with these little, I guess, rings, key ring type things, is they jingle around and they make some noise, which I'm not a fan of. But if you have Peak Design anchors or something like that, you can use those Peak Design anchors and then hook up this secondary strap into that Peak Design anchor and it's a lot quieter, so that's just something to think about. At the top of the strap around your shoulders, there are two metal loops. And uh, if you want, you can uh, get some clips and you can clip something into there. So I don't know if you have another camera strap or a lens pouch or I don't know, a flash holder or something like that. If you want to uh, clip that in, you have these little areas where you can hook things into. Plus, it's just a leather strap so you can, you know, jerry-rig something if you want and just clip it onto the strap, which is really nice. And uh, the last thing I wanna talk about here is on the back. You have an option to put your logo on the back and uh, you will upload your logo to Golden Arrow and then they'll just print it onto this little piece of leather and stick it onto your back and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So when you're shooting your wedding, you're kind of, you know, you're a billboard and you're advertising yourself too. People can go check it out. They can take a photo of your logo or your website or whatever. I mean, you can even put a slogan on there if you want. But uh, yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. I like that feature. Okay, so the big question is, will it last? Will this last? And so far I've had this for two months and I haven't seen anything on this strap that would indicate to me that it would break. There's no red flags or anything else that jumped out at me and it's, it's leather and metal, so technically it should last for a long time. The more you use it, the more it'll mold to your body and it'll be even more comfortable, just like a baseball glove. And yeah, I think if it starts to dry out, definitely you know put some oil on there, oil it up, keep the leather nice and uh, I guess, uh, Keep it from drying out because if it dries out, it cracks and that's when you have your issues. But if you take care of it, I think it should probably last you for your entire wedding photography career or event photography career or whatever type of photography you do career. So yeah, definitely give it a thumbs up. I think it's a, it's a great product. 
All right, one of the things I really like about this harness is the fact that it comes with a bag. And I know what you're thinking, bag, who cares about a bag? When I get a bag with my equipment, I throw it away, right? And usually I do that too, because it's just annoying. You have this bag with a logo on it that you never use and it just sits somewhere and it's like, ah. But these bags come in super handy and I'll tell you why. Sometimes you gotta take your harness and you gotta pop it into your backpack after a wedding, after a shoot, and it's got these metal bits here that could scratch lenses, scratch equipment, and all that kind of stuff. So in that situation, a bag is perfect. So when you fold this up, what you wanna do is just, you know, hold a strap like this, fold it in half, and then take these uh, long straps and just wrap it around. And the reason you wanna do that is when you open up this bag and pull the harness out, you don't want bits and pieces flailing around everywhere. Like again, like I said, You've got thousands of dollars worth of lenses and glass and filters and all that kind of stuff. So you wanna make sure that this stuff doesn't make a muck of everything. So there we go, now it's in the bag and you can put it in your camera backpack and you don't have to worry about it scratching up other lenses and things. So thank you for that, Golden Arrow. I really like the bag, I appreciate it. It's finally a product with a bag that I'll actually use. Okay, now let's talk about ease of use. This camera strap is super easy to use. In fact, they're all pretty easy to use. You know, you have your belt loops where you can adjust the size. In terms of putting it on, you clip your camera in. They have uh, these little anchors and clips. So you just screw in the anchor point under your camera or onto your lens or onto whatever you wanna hang off the strap. Then you clip it on the strap and you have your secondary clip, which is a backup just in case something happens. So you can attach that to your camera or lens or whatever. You can choose to use that or choose not to use that. It's up to you. Um, the one thing you have to be conscious of is the fact that you have cameras hanging at your hips. So if you're walking by a table really fast, just be careful. You don't want to smash your camera into the table or knock over a wine glass or, you know, accidentally spin around and, and smash the wedding cake with your camera because you can do that. So just be conscious of the fact that you have cameras dangling at your sides and, uh, you know, be cautious with your movements at times. Uh, the one thing I will say about this strap is that if uh, your camera on the left side, when you pull it up to your eye and you want to shoot in portrait mode with the button at the top, which is what you typically do, it just it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't, uh, the way the strap and the, the length and all that stuff, it just isn't conducive for that. So you might have to flip your camera around and shoot in upside down portrait mode. So basically you're holding the lens and your button is at the bottom. And it's just a slight mechanical change, it's not a big deal, but uh, just something to be conscious of. And on the right side, you can shoot in normal portrait mode without any issue. It's just the left side for some reason acts a little funny. But other than that, ease of use, this thing is fantastic, no complaints. All right, so let's talk about comfort. How comfortable is this loaded up with heavy gear? And we're shooting at 15 millimeter here. This is pretty cool. I like this perspective. So anyway, uh, what I have here is we have the old EF 70 to 200 uh, lens. No camera, obviously we're filming with the R5, but this is a solid metal build, metal and glass. It weighs a ton. So that's the one lens on one side. And on the other side, we have the 300 millimeter F 2.8 L. And again, this is, all metal construction and of course if you're gonna mount something heavy always attach it to the lens collar or tripod collar don't attach it to your lens because you don't want to put unnecessary pressure on that bayonet mount because this lens weighs a lot more than the camera so here we go how does it feel the weight I can feel it on my shoulders being distributed nicely like a backpack but it's not compressing my back in any kind of weird way or strange way I don't feel like it's it's twisting or pulling. In fact, it's kind of like forcing me to stand up straight, which is good. Um, if I hold this lens in my hand, obviously this one, yeah, I do feel it kind of pulling a little bit, but it's not, I guess that would be uncomfortable. If I was shooting for hours at a time and I just had one heavy lens on one side, it would feel a little uncomfortable, but usually when you're wearing a harness, you got two cameras and you got like an 85 and 35 or 50 and 135. You know, you always have uh, similar lenses you're not gonna put a beast like this on a camera strap. At least I've never seen that in real life, but uh, you can if you want. Now, I'm just gonna let it drop. <laughs> I still don't fully trust it, but so far so good. And of course you have the, uh, the backup cable just in case the main one uh, snaps off or something, which shouldn't happen. Everything seems to be built solid with this case, but, uh, or strap, but you do have a backup, a redundancy which you can put on if you, uh, if you choose. 
The only downside is if you want to take the camera off, I guess you can take it off and kind of have it. It's a little bit longer than the main strap, so I guess it would give you more range if you want to shoot and look at the LCD screen, that kind of thing, and then you can clip the camera back on. But overall, in terms of comfort, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I can't imagine it being any more comfortable than this. I mean, the straps are wide enough. They're not, they're not so thin that they're cutting into your skin with the weight. It doesn't feel bad. My back feels good. So thumbs up for comfort. All right, so next question is, can you single wield with only one camera? So right now we have the EOS R with the 85 1.2 on here. And this is typically a pretty heavy setup, although it feels light as a feather after carrying around that 300 millimeter. But uh, how does it feel? Like, let's say you're doing a portrait session, you're cruising around the city. Let's say you don't want to have two cameras bouncing around. You just want to have one camera, one lens, and you don't want to carry your normal camera strap you want to put on the harness. And um, it feels pretty good. It's, you can definitely feel the weight on one side, but no more than you would if you had like a regular, like a Peak Design strap or something like that. Obviously the most comfortable strap I've ever felt is one just clips onto the belt and all the weight is on your belt, on your hips. You have nothing on your back whatsoever, which is nice, but this doesn't feel bad, definitely usable. And the one piece of advice I could give you if you're new to camera harnesses is train your hand to grab the camera. Just know where the handle will be and kind of just have a feeling for where the camera is because sometimes the lens will point forward and you go to grab it. And this is what I did when I first started using harnesses. I kept grabbing it by the lens and putting my fingerprints all over the front of the lens, which is definitely not a good thing. So you just have to train yourself to kind of grab it. So comfort with one camera, definitely usable. And of course, if you're using an APS-C size camera with a smaller lens, obviously it's gonna be even more comfortable. This is you know, a pretty big setup right here, but uh, definitely doable. All right, so let's talk about final thoughts and uh, I will be reviewing this little leather camera bag in a future video, so if you wanna see that, definitely subscribe to the channel. And this strap will be linked down below in the description, so if you wanna buy it from Golden Arrow, check out the, uh, the links below. And if you have any questions about the strap, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. So, is this thing worth buying? I would say absolutely 100% go for it. I remember back in the day, the company that made these straps was Holdfast and they would charge $800, $900 for straps. They're super expensive. So companies like Golden Arrow definitely brought down that price point and made straps or harnesses like this a lot more accessible. And I think they're fantastic. So if you're shooting weddings, events, if you're just cruising around the city, taking portraits of people, you have your camera at your side like this. You don't even have to look. You just know it's there and it's awesome. So boom, 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 boom. Even photojournalists, like, be fantastic just to have your camera at your side all the time ready to go the only thing i wish canon did was put the on off switch here instead of on the other side of the camera so you could lift the camera turn it on and start shooting with one hand canon come on let's go um but anyway uh that's a side rant <laughs> overall i'd say this this camera strap super versatile i know when i used to shoot weddings with just a camera and the lens, if I like wandered off somewhere with a couple behind the church to take some portraits, and I was like, oh man, I need that 85 or I need that 135. I'd have to run all the way back to my camera or to my bag to get the lens and then switch the lenses and stuff. With this, you can have two cameras, two lenses, or if you have a bag like this, you can fit two lenses in here. So you can have three lenses and one camera with you at all times. So if you're around and about, you wanna switch lenses, you just switch the lenses real quick instead of having to go back to the bag and you'll have three lenses instead of the two plus, you saw this earlier, you can hook up this battery pack to the strap as well, and you can plug that into your flash. So you're always ready to go. Your flash is always like, <laughs> you know, ready to keep up with you no matter what. And the, the battery pack for the flash is great because you don't have to worry about the batteries dying as fast and the recharge times a lot faster. So that's definitely a plus. And it doesn't add too much weight to the strap. It's pretty comfortable, can't really complain. So overall, I would say, the strap is great. The only one issue is when you're shooting left-handed and you're trying to go into portrait mode, the um, the way this, I guess, this knob or this, this buckle work, it just, it just doesn't bend in the way that allows you to shoot uh, portraits vertically. So that's the one issue I have with it. If uh, they redesigned this, uh, this strap or this hook part and made it a little more round and more agile, it might, uh, might help. 
But other than that, I think this is a great strap, great buy, definitely worth it. If you're, uh, if you're starting out in wedding photography, it's an indispensable tool. It'll help you so much just to have two cameras on you at all times and just ready to go with both your lenses. Personally, I like the 85 and 35 for shooting weddings. I'll take a 24 to 70 or 24 to 105 for the actual wedding ceremony and shoot the, uh, the ring and all that stuff because I want more reach and versatility. But outside of that, I'm using primes, 85 and 35. So with that being said, this video is over. Thank you for watching. Peace out. I will see you guys in another video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to all of you. See you in the next one.